Okay guys, so I have literally gotten completely dressed down for the surgery. Our doctors are so nice, which I expected them to be. Hey. So we're just going to put you on the baby monitor. Okay. I know. The breeze, I know. No, no. <laughs> I'm going to try to get your fans up a little. Okay. Under your waist. They're kind of under your butt. You got it. Mm -hmm. Mama, can I get your purse today? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get you covered up with purple. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. I'm gonna give you this too. These are just some papers, guys. It goes over skin to skin, dealing with pain on your epidural bar. Do you have epidural with your last? Yes. Perfect. Okay. 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 Okay.
whatever, you know, y'all gonna see this after the fact, but still just keep us in y'all prayers just in general. I love y'all, we love y'all so much, and we can't make it quick, wait for y'all to meet her. All right, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna let y'all know what's going on when I get in there. All right. Y'all, so I just came from out and it was taking off the old scar that Keisha had for the, for, from the um, first C section. But I guess the epidural or whatever it's called, um, and the anesthesia and stuff, I guess it, it wasn't, I'm not gonna say strong enough, but she could still feel it, like the needle and stuff. And I was just in there, she was telling me, so I had to tell the doctors. To, um, that she could feel it. And she was in there crying, squeezing it. my hand like she was giving a vaginal birth. I'm like, no, she's not supposed to feel this. And she's not gonna be going through no pain while she's drugged up. And she can't do nothing about it. So I had to tell the doctor. So they just, um, they finna just go ahead and put her to sleep. And they said that I can't be in there while they do it. So, cause they need to go ahead and get the baby out. So they finna just go ahead and put her to sleep and then go ahead with the surgery. So they told me I had to get out, which is totally sucks. And I was trying to tell them to be quiet, like so Keisha couldn't hear them tell me to get out because she want me to be in there so bad, which I'm so pissed that I can't be in there right now. But, so now I'm just out here looking at the door. How you doing there? I'm trying to wonder what's going on at this point. This the this the room she and the daughter just went in. But this the other door to it right here. But now I can't even go through the glass door to look what's going on because they got her like facing towards this way, towards the doorway. So if you walk in, you just gonna see everything that's going on. And I was literally so lightheaded going in there, about to pass out. Like y'all don't even understand, like. I cannot do this doctor stuff. Like, that's why I feel like every doctor is an angel for real, for real, because y'all literally do guys' work. So, look, every time I hear something loud, when well, my heart be dropping out. Boy, oh my goodness. I'm just ready to hear, the, hear Baby J start crying. So, I know that she out and she good. And they're gonna soak Keisha back up. I'm gonna go recover. It's stressful right now, y'all. But I'm gonna be back when I figure out what's going on. Yeah, I am so nervous. Only thing I just keep hearing is like, it's like all them tools and stuff in there. It's like some pots and pans in there, y'all. I'm like literally pacing back and forth. Like back and forth, like on my stomach literally has dropped to my butt. Like, this is overwhelming me right now. And it's just like to not know what's going on is the worst part. Because it's just like you just hear all this stuff going on, but you don't hear her because she's asleep, obviously. And just, I don't know. It's too much going on right now. That's great. She good? They'll, they'll call you and fill you in there. Okay, okay. Yeah, did did y'all already get the baby out? I think they did, yeah. Okay. I think. No, but they'll come and update you though. I was just taking care of her. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, everything's great though. It, okay. Do I hear her? I hear her.
shoot her at 10 16. Thank you so much. She here, y'all. She here. Thank you, thank you so much. But this is like the most mind reckoning thing ever. I'm so proud of her, y'all. She is, she is, man. I'm so proud of Keisha, y'all. I love her so much, bro. She just always come through. She always come through. Baby's first bath. Fresh out. Mommy get to see it. Mommy get to see baby's first bath. Strongest woman I know, so I knew you was gonna get through it. Period. Period. So y'all look, this bay diet right here, y'all. She gotta be on water diet for like eight hours, but liquid diet. So, but I think they gonna like give her juice and stuff like that too. But she can't eat nothing, and she been like literally from the time we left the house this morning till we like we was prepping her to get ready for her. Like she was just like, I'm so hungry, I'm so hungry, I need to eat. I need to eat. And then, oh, I can't even see you, man. She was like, I need to eat. Are you getting it off? Yeah, I will. Damn, this water looks so good. Can I have some? Yeah. I don't remember being this hungry with the girls. I wasn't this thirsty with the girls. No, I don't think she's like that. You know what I'm saying, it was crazy? What? You know like right here with your tailbone there, you got that dent. She got the same shit. Really? Yes, when the doctor bent her over. Oh, you can see, you can see the dick right there. She, she, she got the same thing on her. Wow. Yeah, that shit crazy. Had to put out my girl info out there, but. I'm just saying. I'm push her belly back. I just want to be able to feel myself. I can't feel it. But she said, you, drew, you drugged up. It was the part that they had to put you to sleep, man. What drugs you got in you? Like, the rig, the drug that they put in you wasn't even enough. That's how it, so they had to put something in you. So you don't feel that way. Yeah, I was like, uh-uh, if you give me something, because I was feeling, I was feeling too much. I wasn't too happy with what I was feeling. Uh -huh. 
So I still haven't been able to take a nap because I've had to make my rounds of calling uh, friends and family. She's actually a really, 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 really good baby. She's literally been sleeping the whole time. Oh yeah, I didn't even tell you guys her weight. So she weighs five pounds, 12 ounces. So I'm a proud mom and um, I'm really, really happy with her birth weight. Um, they told me I can start putting on her clothes whenever, but right now they're trying to make sure her um, her sugar levels are where they need to be. <laughs> and it was a little bit under the first time they tested, and then I just tried to breastfeed. Um, only colostrum is coming out right now. Um, so, and from her doing the colostrum, it went it went up. So it's only like one one um number under what it's supposed to be so um they told me that they wanted to give her some formula and that's why if y'all watched what's in my baby bag or what's in my hospital delivery bag i already told y'all i anticipated them trying to supplement so your girl brought my whole life formula that i <laughs> prefer for my kids to drink um and at first it was seeming like they wasn't going they was like oh we're, we just we don't want anything to happen on our watch so we prefer to just give them what the hospital uses i'm sorry but she's not if she has to drink something other than my breast milk this is what i prefer but they called down and the specialist was like okay yeah that's perfectly fine i'm trying to put my earrings back in to feel a little bit cute as y'all can see i didn't put no makeup on because i was like uh-uh and i'm so glad i didn't because it was a nightmare you guys it was a nightmare <laughs> having like a mini anxiety attack i was like god pull me through like i literally called out to god i was crying it was just really bad i wanted something to eat i wanted something to drink it was just all bad but babe literally helped so much i'm gonna take her to get gel again and then we'll bring her back because since it was 44 mm -hmm. she's got to get a second round of gel and then she's gonna have to get that breast or formula okay so we right back okay all right we'll be back mommy okay we'll be back mama I'm taking my baby mm. I'm taking my baby I don't like that but yeah you guys I was shaking like crazy babe was like praying over me the whole time he kept just like praying to me praying to me and of course I just started thinking about the girls holding me my mom said the journey was a little sad um, earlier <clears throat> um, I really think she knows the baby was coming today. She was a whole new baby yesterday. But um, I FaceTimed them and they were really, really excited. So I'm happy about that. Um, and I'm going to get them something from her. Okay, guys. So uh, remember I told you guys that they finally... Hey. Oh, I told you guys... <clears throat> They um, gave me some medicine now in my IV. So hopefully it does start to help soon. But I told you guys in my um, what's in my hospital bag video that I got this um, after ease or pregnancy. And it's supposed to help with um, contractions. It's supposed to help with pain um, and just regulating your body. And I heard a lot of great reviews about it. Um, a lot of women said in the reviews that it was like instant. And since I'm feeling it, really bad right now um i'm gonna go ahead and do it and i'll show you all i'll tell y'all right now like what happens um some women just added the drops to their water i saw some people added it to their juice um and then some people said they just took it straight um like because it was more potent that way 
I text you some snacks too that I'm, I'm gonna want. I feel like she's gonna, I think we're gonna have a good breastfeeding experience though, you guys, so. Hey, baby. Mommy's whole lower region just feels <laughs> like crazy. Looking at your mommy. You're looking at your mommy. I love you. I love you, baby. Oh, you're looking at your mommy. It's good support. Okay, so, like I said, this is how it looks. I'm trying to make sure my ivy doesn't pull. Baby Jack. Baby Jack. You are knocked out, my pretty girl. You are knocked out, mommy's love. So I'm just going to add some to the Doppler. And I'm going to just take it straight. Okay, hold on. Okay, that was one. It didn't really taste bad. But my taste is kind of off because they gave me that little acid stuff earlier. So, maybe that's why. It's not bad. I'm going to do two. And let's see how fast this works. Okay. Let's see. That, that worked. Okay, y'all. I won't keep y'all bored. And plus, the battery's about to die. So... I'm gonna let baby Jay sleep a little bit and then try to come back and give her some more milk. And um, it looks like I'm gonna have to do um, we're gonna we're gonna do boob first and then I'll do milk right after. Um, I got up this morning. I was like kicking like crazy. But I 